Bostal is in the building at Pamela's Gonzalez opening of her first store. We're going to look at her fashion collection, talk with her about her inspiration, and get the latest buzz from everyone here. As you can see, the scene is fabulous. Everyone's having a good time. So come on in and I'll take you in on the inside scoop. having an amazing time. How are you doing? You, you, you were at Nolcha Fashion Week and now we're here for the store launch. How does it feel? It feels amazing. It's the dream come true. Yes, and we're really excited to be here. The collection looks good. People are having a good time. And I know that you're from Peru, right? I'm Peruvian, yes. Okay, and how did you make it here and get into the whole fashion world? What was that oh. about? I really li love challenges, so I feel like this way I'm like exposing myself to the biggest challenge, you know? Yeah. Fashion in New York, that's crazy, and I want to be part of it. And also I want to create an impact and a difference in it. Right. So yeah, that's how it started. Um, I always had like a passion for fashion, literally. So uh, when, once I got out of high school, I told my dad I wanted to study design, and he was like, no, that's superficial, don't take it as a career. You know, classic dad. Yes. So that's when I started studying psychology, and it's not until I have like an accident a concussion in which I am the, at the hospital. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, Wow, eight. that's serious. Wow. It was like, that's when you start thinking, like, what am I doing with my life? I'm not doing what I love, you know? And that's when the idea of designing comes back. And well, I started designing and I started getting my brand on and my dad started supporting me and my family started supporting me. So that's how I started creating a brand and having my first boutique in Peru. And well, after that, I figured out that it was, it was time to like create a bigger exposure. As I said, I love challenges, so I was up for it. Now, I, I, you are saying that you're only 20, right? 20. So, at that, at this moment in your life, you're saying this, and you're only 20. So, how does that work? You, you, you got the brain power together, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I feel like part of being a designer, part of being like for me. Um, designing is an art, you know? Yes. So for me, like, art is not gonna, like, help you if you don't focus on the business as well. Right. And well, I'm so glad that my father is, like, a businessman, so he starts, he's, like, teaching me with everything to do with um, retailing and the business side of fashion. And, well, yeah, it was, like, something that changed my life and well since then I'm I'm focusing on the business with fashion and doing what I love but focusing on the business and making it happen okay, and your business is amazing because your collection for me the dresses are something that I adore and I looked at the fall and the winter line and summer right now. yeah the fall and winter line is amazing and then also the the spring and summer I'm like everything is truly feminine and perfect for a woman who wants that elegant approach where do you get that passion from well I really like focus more on textures like for example spring summer what do I think of you know like I want to feel sexy I want to have like the right angles exposed yeah. you know so and that's how I try to do it like focusing on the different angles and focusing on the yeah. textures like the seashells covered with like and, and she's bringing the sex appeal yes she is yeah, it's sexy you know <laughs> So yeah, and I'm focusing also like on the young thing, you yes. know. Thrilled to be a part of this event because Pamela's clothing really spoke to me when she debuted at Nolcha Fashion Week just a couple months ago. And I said, I need to know who is behind these amazing designs. And once I met Pamela and realized how just so, how lovely she was as a human being, and then she told me how, how young she is, which is just, I mean, you can't be that talented and that young. And that beautiful. And at it's 20 not, years not old. Not fair. That's right. It's just not fair. Um, but I really, I, she really spoke to me in that way because I felt like her designs, her aesthetic is gorgeous. Her message is really clean, which is she wants fashion to be art. And so the whole store, if you look around and you see all the gorgeous art, her sister did all of the glass work. And all, of course, the clothes are Pamela's and all of these other designers. So it's sort of a collective. And I love that idea. Designers helping and, and promoting other designers. Now she really caters to women and really showing us how to stay fabulous and elegant. What do you look for when you're looking for that sex appeal in your outfit? Goodness, what do I look for to feel sexy? 
It takes effort. <laughs> um, so when I, you know, the truth of the matter is, I really, when I want to feel good, uh, my motto is, do not go with the trend necessarily. If it doesn't look good on you, that's then scrap it. You don't need to be trendy. To feel sexy and confident, you have to feel good in what you wear. So if something is a good fit and a good color, that's what I go with. If something complements my skin tone and really accentuates my hair color, my eye color, I love a great color. I'm not really representing that tonight, but I think that neutrals are also fine when you're doing an event like this. But if I want to feel sexy, I go with a great vibrant color and I go with a great fit. Okay, so you keep talking about vibrant color and it's all about that confidence. Us women really have to have that confidence. What trend do you like? I know you're saying we don't want to stay on trends, but what trends are popular for the fall that you indulge in? I love um, leather and lace. I love lace too. I love lace. Leather and lace. I love the mix of the rock and roll with the feminine. I just love it. Like tonight, for instance, this is a very feminine outfit, and I wanted to put little rocker boots with it, like very motorcycle boots. I didn't, but if I'm when I leave here, I'll put on my little boots and go out. So I love mixing the sort of sweet with the racy. I love that. Yes, and, I, and I'm wearing those boots tonight, so I kind of took your trend and decided to glam it out with the over the knee boots tonight. But you're 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 gonna you're gonna rock it out tonight, aren't you? The microphone is an accessory. I mean, hello, you got the best accessory in the house. This microphone. I think Pamela's collection is very fresh. Um, when you see a lot of lines, some of the items um, aren't wearable. But I'm seeing that. I want to say like maybe even 10 out of 10 items that I'm seeing, I would definitely yeah. wear it and definitely buy it. Um, a lot of the colors are more like earth tone, but because of the accents and the designs that she incorporates in the dresses or the shirts or whatnot, um, because of these accents, it makes it very um, hip, very trendy. So I love it. Yeah. Okay. So I see you have something in your hand. Tell me, why did you pick this outfit? Yeah, um, I think it's very fallish, and as we get into the fall season um, and start, you know, layering and and wearing infinity scarves, I saw this cowl neckline and I fell in love with it. Um, it's one of my favorite, I guess, accents of a blouse, and um, it's just sexy. It's sheer, um, and I love the the ribbons and the lacing here. So it's it's amazing. I love it. It would go good with, it would go well with a pair of brown boots and like tights or, or jeans. It's very simple but sexy. Pamela Gonzalez, Store Lodge in Soho. This is one of my favorite pieces. It has a really nice 70s fit and it works for the office and for a night out. This is one of my favorite pieces from Pamela Gonzalez. As you can see, it's just a gorgeous everyday um, dress. You can wear it to the office. The detail is fabulous. I love the nude color with that um, blush pink. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. The details on this are very stunning and it will definitely compliment a woman. Okay, so this is another one of my favorite pieces. This dress is just fun. It's played I love the neckline. It has that flowing detail, that gray color, and it's just a great color to wear for the fall. And look at the back. Now that is fashionable and very fierce. This is my last favorite, and this is a very sexy dress. She really focuses on, you know, keeping that elegance embrace on a woman's body with the detail of this. You can wear this to a wedding, a cocktail party, or if you're hosting a fabulous event. And look at that, the embroidery on the back, amazing. We love the sparkle and the, the sequence and the shine that it has going on. You're really working it. And how do you like your look? I love it. I mean, there's sequins underneath, but you can always dress it up with a blazer and there's three pieces, so the shirt, the blazer, and the leggings, so you can really mix and match. And okay, let's get a little look of all the details. Girls, can you give me a little, a little spin around? Oh yeah, I should spin around. I have some interesting detail in the back. Beautiful detail in the back, again with the sequins, the opening there in the back, very glamorous. And the detail here, 
Now this is hot right there. Very nice with the points. Very nice. 